Coloring schemes provide the colors for a palette. They help you find matching chords by highlighting them in different colors. The colors tell you something about the function of a chord, or its relationship to other chords and scales. There are many different coloring schemes. You can pick a preset from this menu, or configure your own settings and add them to the preset menu yourself. The default scheme highlights chords by type. Major chords are yellow, minor chords blue, and suspended chords are green. Dominant and dissonant chords are indicated with shades of red. The scheme, functions, highlights chords by harmonic function. Primary functions like tonic, sub-dominant and dominant are considered strong. Secondary functions appear dimmed. Chords without a function remain dark. This scheme provides orientation especially on alternative palettes with an unusual layout. The scheme, scale membership, shows for each chord which horizontal scale it is built from exclusively. This suggests chords that may best emphasize the character of that scale. There are also dynamic colorings that follow the chords you are playing. The continuation scheme suggests chords you may want to play next based on the chords you have already played. If you follow the green path, you will arrive at progressions that are more conducive to average listening habits. The brightness of the scheme, subsets, shows how many notes a chord has in common with the chord you are currently playing. If you follow the bright path, chord changes will be subtle. While the dark path leads to more contrast. The scheme, sub triads, indicates triads that are fully included in the chord you are currently playing. This way you can find out how to break down a large and dissonant chord into simple smaller chords. The strength scheme highlights chords that, when played next, introduce a strong change from the currently playing chord. A short distance in the circle of fifths is considered strong. Longer distances are considered weaker. For example, you could follow the bright path for a chorus and the dark path for a verse. When you edit your own coloring settings, you can combine any of the schemes to mix and match colors as you see fit. Please consult the Help browser for details and feel free to do your own experiments. Thank you for watching.